This is a Native American tea. The leaves are about the size of a dime, reddish, brownish. You notice the leaves look like grass. I'm gonna take some of this and get some water from the creek, and, uh, and we're gonna, I'm gonna drink some. Let's show you how to how to make it. Some Native American Indian tea. I got a fire going now, and uh, the Indian tea I picked early. I got a tripod built here out of some young M trees and, and I'm just drying it out it's right there, drying out. And uh, in a minute we're going to be drinking some water from this creek right here. And uh, boiling it and then I'm waiting for some charcoal, good charcoal out of that fire to use. And I'm going to show you how to make it, but this is a fast way to dry any tea out. We'll get water here from this uh, creek right here. I'm going to use this. That'll be about enough right there. Right there water. And we're going to boil it and put some charcoal in there and drink that Indian tea. Okay, now I got the... I'm using it this way, cooking with it. And my charcoal. I'll put it in there. There's the Indian tea that I dried up pretty much. Pretty good. Stick it in here. And, uh, be enough to make a couple of cups and uh, that I dried on the, that tripod on the fire there right there got some coals out cool them down just enough to boil in the water will purify the water it's like a water is water purifier and uh, I'll put that in there and uh, and break it up with it that's enough right there for this much amount and uh, put it together Got my creek water in there from the creek. I wouldn't drink it straight. And uh, the oh, uh, this is a kind of a no modern way, but like camping. But uh, the Indians used to dig a hole, line it with clay, and uh, get uh, some rocks on the side. And uh, they would uh, heat the rocks up, that dollar size, fifty cent size. And uh, then they would. Dig a hole, put the clay like I said, and uh, in a pit, and you can make stews in there, and you dump your hot rocks in the water, and then uh, you know, that, and then they would, uh, of course, them days the water was pure; they didn't have to add no charcoal to filter it out. But you get most out by the fire with boiling it. What that don't get, the charcoal will get out, and uh, then you can drink out of a creek or a lake. But uh, for this amount right there, you see what I used, about that much charcoal is enough. More water, more charcoal. We'll get back with you when uh, this is boiling and I'm going to drink some Indian tea we picked out here in the woods. Okay, we been perking for a while. And uh, check it out here. It's nice and toasty. A little bit hot from your hands. <laughs> so. Grab me my shirt in here and pour me a little bit of this. And, uh, yeah. It's that Indian tea. Yeah. Yeah, the creek water here. Uh, just let it cool a little bit. Like, it's like drinking a cup of coffee. Uh, hot. Yeah, it tastes good. It tastes like tap water. And it's from the creek right here. Of course with charcoal. But the reason to demonstrate this, you can make coffee this way. You can purify water this way by that fire, as you know, purifies the water. And therefore the charcoal added to it is a simple way. There's other methods. This is the way I've been using, just right out of the creek. And hot. But out of the creek, I would never drink it. You'd, uh, worst scenario, diarrhea, stomach aches, and all that other scenario, but that's pretty much it.